Here we have red oak, Quercus rubra. This is the most shade tolerant oak in Wisconsin, and it occupies a wide variety of mesic to dry mesic sites, sometimes mixed with white oak, but it is more shade tolerant than white oak. You can tell this is a red oak because of the uh, sharp tips on the lobes. The white oak groups, um, oak lobes are rounded, whereas this one is pointed. The leaves are alternate, simple, and spirally arranged on the stem. The pointed lobes have bristle tips, and the lobes and sinuses are all about the same size and shape. The U-shaped sinuses don't really extend more than halfway to the midvein. The underside of the leaf is glabrous, except for a few tufts of hairs in the axles of the veins. Having buds clustered at the tips of the twigs is a characteristic of all oaks. In red oak, these buds will become pointy as they develop into fall. I collected these acorns from last year underneath the tree, and they're not in the best shape. Red oak has the biggest acorns of all Wisconsin oaks. The cap is saucer-shaped, a bit like a French beret, and it covers only a quarter to a third of the nut. Red oak acorns are a very important food for wildlife, despite being more bitter than the acorns of white oak. The scales on the cap of the acorn of red oak and other members of the red oak group are thin and scaly, not thick and corky as they are on the white oaks. The acorns take two years to mature. This second year acorn will turn oval and plump by the time it's dispersed in the fall. The bark of red oak is dark gray and becomes deeply furrowed in older trees. The ridges of the bark are characteristically flat-topped, with some of the wider ridges appearing like ski trails or sled trails winding down the large branches and upper trunk. In this older tree, the bark is almost a dark purplish gray, with the lighter gray, almost shiny flat-topped ridges contrasting with the darker gray of the valleys. Northern red oak is the most valuable timber species in the red oak group. It has been used in construction, flooring, and furniture. It's called red oak due to the crimson fall color and the reddish tint to the wood.